Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in the Home Depot parking lot. I'm starting today's vlog off at Home Depot because I've decided that it is officially time to repot my fiddle leaf fig tree. I will show you guys its roots when I get home, but basically they're growing up and around the pot and it is very obvious that this planter that my fiddle leaf tree is planted in is way too small. I think it's been affecting the tree itself and it's been losing a couple leaves and I just think it's time to repot it. And I also wanna make sure that there's no root rot and so I'm here to pick up some soil. Very transparently, you guys, I was not going to follow through on vlogging today. I was so motivated last night to film this video. I was so excited. I had all these plans I wanted to do for this video. And then as I was like filming the intro back at home, I didn't like any of the takes that I did and I didn't like how my voice sounded or how I said things. And I just was feeling so discouraged about filming this vlog but I decided that I was not gonna let that stop me from being with you guys today and from filming this video so I am here I'm showing up I'm clocking in I'm putting in the time and we're gonna have a really really great day it is a little bit later than I had planned and I think that honestly added to why I was just feeling so bad about all my intros I had planned on leaving the house at like 2 p.m. and I was gonna get here and have time when I got home to replant my tree and everything before the Sun went down and I didn't end up leaving my house until like later than 3 30 and so it took me a little while to get out of the house because like I said all of the footage that I had filmed back at home I just really did not like and it was making me feel like I was really bad at my job and I feel like lately I've not been as confident in my vlogging and in my videos that was really really getting me down and I called Jason and I was just like I don't want to do this I can't film this today but I decided that I'm already here and I really wanted to do this and so we're just gonna do this and I know that you guys literally in the last vlog accepted me as I am and so we're gonna have to do that again today because I just felt like I couldn't do this but I'm glad that I pulled it together that we're here we're gonna go in get some soil I also want to pick up some scotch guard for our dining room chairs because we've had them for about a month and they are like a textured kind of gray boucle but I wanted to make sure that they stay nice because they're very nice chairs and I really want to have them for a long time so I want to scotch guard them to protect them and I'm not gonna have time to repot my tree tonight or do the scotch guard because I want to do both of those outside since it's already 4 15 now <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff and then we'll probably pick back up tomorrow so it will be a multiple day vlog but I'm really glad you guys are here thank you for seriously just sticking around with me through this weird weird time I just have not been feeling like myself you guys know that if you watched my previous vlog but I'm trying to do things that will make me feel more like myself again this morning we got up and we worked out and made breakfast and had like a really great morning and then I was really productive up until around like 2 o'clock and then for some reason when I started this vlog I started this vlog an hour and a half ago and for some reason when I started the vlog it just like went all downhill so I'm picking myself up and I really want to do this with y'all so let's go on in and pick up our soil and our scotch guard This Home Depot is playing Taylor Swift. And I really needed that today, I can't even lie. Okay, so there are three different kinds here, rug and carpet, fabric water shield, which is just the normal one that I think I'm gonna get. And then this is the outdoor water shield for ultimate protection against the elements. But I'm gonna do this one since this is for furniture. You could also put this on our couch, even though our couch I think is already Kind of scotch guarded it's an acrylic fabric so liquid just kind of wick off of it but it's nice to have it at least i love looking at all of the plants like this really dark zizi plant is super cool i've never seen one in this color before actually this one looks like it might have a disease so that's not good and then look at this guy so colorful this is a cordyline okay so there are actually a lot of different 
potting mixes and I actually don't know which one to get. I think I need something that is very like fast draining that won't retain a bunch of moisture because you don't want them to get root rot. So I'm thinking maybe this is orchid potting mix coarse blend. This one is moisture control. Beads up to six months, plants grow twice as big. Protects against overwatering and underwatering. Okay, maybe I'll do the cactus, palm, and citrus potting mix. Fast draining formula. Okay, so I decided to go with two and just get both and maybe like mix them together. So I did get the fast draining formula, but then I also got this indoor potting mix because this one helps with like moisture, but it also has some like growing stuff in it. Hope it works. <laughs> okay, I got my soil. I'm gonna go buy my PO box, see if there's anything that I've gotten in the last week and a half, and then I'm gonna head home. Got out of the post office, and it's so weird because sometimes I go and they literally have to give me a cart to get all my packages out to my car. But today I went, and it's been like almost two weeks since that last time I went. Nothing, not a single thing. So sometimes people send a lot, sometimes they don't. But I am on my way home now and I'm already feeling better. I'm glad that I just like went ahead and got the stuff I needed from Home Depot because I definitely was about to just turn around and go back home. But I'm really, really glad that I just decided to do that. Jaywaz and I are doing a date night tonight and I think we're gonna go to true food because i want to keep eating well <laughs> most of the time when we do date night we always like do tacos or pizza or thai or something and it's kind of like a treat but i have been really needing to eat healthy because i think it's also contributed to how i feel during the day so i asked if we could go somewhere healthy and i really like going to true food so that was my request all right back home just to turn around Going to True Food. And I decided to take my same look from day to night by adding this different jacket. Surprise, I'm not wearing my favorite one for once in my lifetime. And then I threw on my Chanel bag and some black boots. Oh yeah, Jaywaz, everyone wanted to know where your boots were uh, from. Oh yeah, dude, my boots on Instagram. are from Boot Barn. Uh, but they're actually just uh, top Doc ones. And yeah. you got some new jeans. And I got these new jeans. For the beach. They're not as uh, skinny. I guess skinny jeans are out. That's what we've been told. They're a lot more Riley, are skinny jeans out? She's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. They they, they've been out for a while, Mom. But what do you say after True Foods? We pop over to Trader Joe's and we get those little chocolate crunchy wafer things. They look like Pringles, but they're chocolate and they have Rice Krispies in them. I think I this. Oh, they change a lot. <laughs> it's still decorated for Christmas. Truffle honey and pear flavor. Ooh, and then I got the prickly pear sparkling drink, and then he got a kale juice. I got the teriyaki quinoa bowl. Looks kind of small. It is kind of small actually. Jayla's got the butternut squash kale seasonal. Looks kind of small. It's kind of small. Looks kind of small. It's kind of small. <laughs> We just finished up at dinner and I convinced Jay Waz to come to TJ's. Do you guys know that Chloe's a chocolate monster, dude? This I, is a new thing. I but... literally eat chocolate every night. Just like a little bit, not a lot. Just like, I just need something sweet after I eat dinner. <gasps> They're gone. They were literally just here. No. Just kidding. They're here. Okay. Yay. Okay. We got the goods. Almost a disaster. Thought they were sold out. I took one more lap and I found them. I'm so glad I found them because Jay Waz has never had them. Also, this Trader Joe's were in the Green Hills area is the most stressful parking lot. Every time I come here, I almost get hit every time. But now we're gonna take our chocolate crisps home. Maybe Jay Waz will make some decaps and watch the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. Yay, Nathan Chen. <laughs> The only person that the Winter Olympics has talked about, I feel like, is Nathan Chen. Riley, do you want to eat? You want to eat? <gasps> All right, sit. Good job. Down. Okay. 
Show them the luxury decaf we've been drinking. <laughs> What's the origin? <laughs> J.M. Smucker Company, Oroville, Ohio. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, all of these coffees are from Brazil. It's a medium roast. Pretty it's actually pretty good for a decaf. Arabica. Most of the big coffee farms for like Starbucks and Dunkin' are in Brazil. So. Mm. And he just, he doesn't even measure. He just goes by. I'll just go by wild, feel. <laughs> While I'm waiting for the coffee to finish, I did get one box from Laura Mercier. And this was not my PO box. It was just by our garage door when I got home. So it's kind of heavy. Got the Laura Mercier note. And it looks like, ooh. Translucent Loose Setting Powder Anniversary Edition. Does it have a pearl on the top? Oh my gosh, okay. This is the box. Oh my gosh, this is actually so cute. Look at this planner. What? It's like a book. 2022 Agenda. Yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. It's really pretty. See? Riley thinks it's pretty. And then this is the box. How cool that is. Back. So fancy. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Look at this. This is way bigger than their usual setting powder. This is giant. Wait, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So it's literally like their setting powder, but in jumbo size. And it comes with a poof. But that's so cute. I love this. Be cute just sitting out on like a vanity. All right, we're gonna do a J. Wallace first impression of the dark chocolate crisp. Thin curved wave of Belgian chocolate with crunchy rice chips. These really are like pretty. That's what I said. Yeah. It's nice, right? The like rice krispies? It's good! How could he done alarming in the I know. Damn. I haven't tried these, they're the best. Hey guys, it's actually like two days later. Yesterday, the day after date night, Jay Waz woke up with a fiery, fiery food poisoning. So we were planning on Dude, vlogging Dude, yesterday. The amazing. I know, it's so bright. Oh, it's bright. We were planning on vlogging yesterday, like doing the, the tree replant, scotch guarding these chairs, hanging out with y'all, just spending the day together. He was literally on the couch from the second he got out of bed it's until bad. we went back to it's bed. Bad, he was KO'd. So yesterday we literally just took it easy and I was like making him tiny meals all day. But I wanted to hop on here really quick. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna actually vlog today because I wasn't planning on vlogging today. We have like a couple shoots that we are working on. So today is kind of like a shoot day for us, but our pond is getting its spring cleaning right now. And I really just wanted to show you guys this. So if this is the only thing I filmed today, that's okay. Okay, so here's the pond. Riley's very upset by all the people working in her backyard. But inside of this bucket are all of my koi babies. Look at them. There are so many in there. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were. Don't they look bigger in the bucket? They look kind of huge. Taller, like from belly to top. Yeah. Imagine be. And there's like some black ones in there. Like there's some fish I've never seen in there in this bucket. And they're just like vibing. So that's like an area tank. They've got airflow in there and they're moving water around in this bucket. And then this guy has been like scooping out all of the muck. They shop vacked all of the crap out of our pond. It's gonna be nice and clean for my fishies. Oh my gosh, they really look like they're struggling in this bucket, but they're gonna go back to their home soon. Jay Waz and I have been shooting today. We just shot something for a skincare campaign. And then later today, we're gonna go out and shoot some photos for Walmart. They actually wanted Jay Waz in the photos, which is Hilarious. Why is that hilarious? <laughs> I'm beautiful. Let me tell them I'm beautiful. Well, I just think it's funny that they like really emphasize they're like at least 70% of the shots need to be of Jason. And I was like, it's okay. I haven't actually seen what I look like. No, they love you. All right, ladies. Got these pants. Khaki pants. 
some khaki. Are there, are Riley's denim? already trying to get her nose all over. Yeah, they're like a light denim. Yeah, they're kind of a denim though. You don't have, do you have a pair of khakis? No. Well, I've got those cord things. Get it's your th schnoz out. Riley, here. get your hair away from this. <laughs> you can wear these to 30A. Nice. I'm, I'm pumped on this, uh, this khaki top with the khaki pants. Kind of a good vibe. Oh, it's long. I thought it was a short song. There you go. A little button up. Khaki on khaki. Cute little striped tee. What do you think, Ryde? Does dad have it in him to be a YouTuber? Jay was not. I'm going to make it big, Ryde. Right? Is this how they do it? Oh, Jean, what I like about this one is that it's the same as every other one I've already had. <laughs> oh, this is kind of a cool shirt. It's a little sweatshirt. It's one of those knit kind of, kind of waffle materials. It's really soft. It's nice. Yeah, that would look good with the khaki pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I did a good job. You did. You did a great job. This is like, I think some, you uh, could wear it open. That's some crocodile hunter kind of stuff right there. <laughs> Strong crocodile hunter. <laughs> Right. You can wear it open over like a white t-shirt. And then I got this little plaid dress and this green sweater to wear over my plaid dress. Those look amazing. Okay, cool. I might just wear them with this top, dude. Beige on, beige on, beige on, beige. No, you have to wear Walmart. Um, so go throw on this one. Great. All right, what do you think? You look good. Yeah, it fits good. I like the material. A medium weight. That's the material. It looks really good. Those pants actually look so good. I feel like I'm gonna Really like him with the crocodile hunter top. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this. Okay. He's most excited for the beige on beige. He gets it from me. Oh, snazzy. Crikey. Crikey. That's a big one. That looks nice. We need to steam it, but it looks good. I like it open. I feel like the closed one would <laughs> be a lot, but it's kind of trendy. Yeah. Riley. Thank you. It's nice. We are about to head out to shoot some photos. But look how cute this dress is. I really, really love this. It has pockets. And I think the plot is really cute for spring. Got it on with a brown sandal and this green cardigan. But I think the dress by itself is honestly cuter than the dress with the cardigan. So I might wear it, I might not, but this is a great little like cardigan that you could wear as a top as well. I think it's so cute. Okay, we are out with my friend Valia. She's our photographer for today and Jay Waz is modeling. It's you gotta get stuff done. This is how you get stuff done. So thought I'd just bring you guys and show you how we shoot campaigns. Normally Jay Waz is shooting for me because normally he's not in the photos. Okay, low key, these actually look amazing. Molly is doing such a good job. She actually is an on set stylist for movies and stuff, so it's honestly perfect that she could help out. It's actually a darker. Do you hate No, this is a vibe. Oh, is this for a Yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Come on. <laughs> All right, we just finished up. These things are cracked. Man. And we got two. Oh, my bangs right now. We just got two hot caramel lattes to go with oat milk. It's a little your treat. Good morning. It's plant repotting day. And because I know you guys are gonna ask where I got this sweater, I thrifted it in Virginia. So sorry to burst everyone's dreams, but this is my plant repotting outfit. I've got on these Everlane jeans, Everlane boots. I think maybe I wore this like already in this vlog, but I just wear the same thing over and over again. So here is our fiddle leaf that we're gonna be replanting. This is the current pot that he came in. I got him in November and his roots are growing up and around the pot. So it's definitely time to put him in a bigger pot. And the days have already gotten longer, so I think we're okay to do this now. This is the pot that I ended up getting him. I had to buy 10 of these off Amazon because they don't sell them individually. So I have 10 of these now. But I got this saucer as well. And then I'm gonna eventually find a bigger basket or planter to actually put this ugly pot in. But for now, he's going in the ugly pot. I also got this neem oil, which my aunt suggested to me because she has a thriving fiddle leaf and she said that this is really good for the leaves. So I'm gonna spray them once we get them outside. I'm also gonna spray my other plants, I think. So we've got a big day for you. Big day. Look how tall he's gotten. Yeah, I mean, look how tall he's gotten. Ooh. This is what Riley does 
Spot. Riley always looks for the sunspot, so Jay wants, is that, trying to figure out what it feels like. It's, Riley will literally just sit in the sun and just stare just, into the sun. I literally can't. <laughs> Riley's like, you're a weak. You're crazy. Riley's like, I could do this all day. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, why are you in my son? I know, she's always in the sun. We are literally fighting the elements. It is one of the windiest days ever. It's actually like 70 degrees, but there's a cold front coming, so there's a ton of wind. There's actually a wind advisory today. <laughs> and we almost just, just lost our tree. We almost just flew away. Oh my gosh. of the slippers coming off. How does he do it, Riley? Beautiful! He is home, he's back, and he is ready to grow! Babe, the finesse of getting those slippers off? They were dirty from those muddy leaves. Cool. Riley, what do you think? He looks good! Yeah. Okay, I decided that we're not gonna scotch guard today because it's kind of windy and I feel like Spraying the neem oil enough was like a little bit stressful, but look how good it looks. Is our tree so happy, Riley? He is thriving. So I hope he does well. I gotta get him a new basket because I don't think it would fit in here. Maybe it would. I think it'd be like really, really tight. Hmm, maybe I'll ask Jaywaz to see if it would fit. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I think Jaywaz and I are gonna do some yard work in the backyard since it's so nice out. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more Riley. Oh, Riley in the sun spot is so cozy. But I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye, y'all.